What's up guys? So I have a quick video because I'm getting ready to start my Breath of the Wild live stream playthrough. I wanted to show this first because I am going to do this on the live stream, but in case you missed that, I start up a new file, just got to where you first unlock using the Sheikah Slate to do stuff, and I have the ability to use amiibos. So here now, instead of having all my amiibos on the shelves, instead of having to collect all of the amiibos, I took a shortcut. I found a thing on Wish that was a 22 piece set of amiibo cards. These things. I got them because I could not afford getting the actual amiibos themselves for this game and I want to try using the in-game items because each of these cards will give an in-game item. They have custom art so the back looks like this. Front have custom art there. What I'm gonna do is use them in-game and I'm gonna show you kinda of what loot you can expect to get from these cards. So the first one looks like Zelda. That's what I showed you. So let's see what Zelda gets us. We got a bunch of food and a chest. Okay. Let's collect the food. So you have the food. I'm more interested in what's in this chest. Come on. What do we got? Got some amber. Awesome. Okay. Activate it again. Is there a second one? Let's see what we get. More food and a chest. I'm really going to focus in on the chests. Because, okay. A gym that could give us some monies. Ocarina of Time, Link playing a flute, because that's how this card company rolls. Bunch of meat. That's cool. And a chest. That's what the chest gives us. The Cap of Time. Fantastic. So starting out, I have no armor. Now I have the Cap of Time. And each day, you there's a one day cooldown on each of the amiibo cards to use. Here's our next one. And after that day is up, or you could just save it and gimmick it. Well, I'm going to have to use a different uh, power. Let's see if I can... See if I can grab it with this. If not, I wasted the... Uh, I can't. Nice. So I had to swap over to use that power. So what we got. This chest gives us Traveler's Bow. So a nice bow to start the game out with. Let's see what's next. Another Link. Got a bunch of crates. And a chest. The chest gives us some fire arrows. Not too shabby. More Link. So I'm hopefully, you see, and you get food. Tons of food. Which is nice. Especially if you're someone who cooks a lot in the game. Ooh. Fierce Deity Armor. So starting out, having some body armor that gives us attack up. And it looks cool. Yes, please. So this one is supposed to be from Twilight Princess, I believe. With the wolf. We have a wolf now. Oh, wow. And this wolf is our companion, and it has all the hearts. So it will fight stuff for us, with us, and has all the hearts. That's exciting. That's real exciting. Here is Toon Link. Got some barrels that have stuff in them, rupees and fruit. Open up the chest. Oh, some shock arrows. Cool. Is there a next one? Let's 
This is something if you were wanting to pick up off of Wish, I took a gamble on it. it took about two and a half weeks to get here. Ooh, Shield of the Mind's Eye. Huh. So you have a shield to equip now? And it looks cool. I like it. Let's go to our next item. They have them for other games too. They have them for Smash. They have them for a few. But Wish.com has random odd things like this that, you know, I wanted to get the Amiibos. Is this not going to work? Come on. There we go. I am using the Pro Controller, so it's a little bit more difficult fitting the cards to get them where they need to be. So, Cap of Twilight. So, if I wanted to have a, a little bit darker cap. Looks cool. Here's a Ganondorf. And I, honestly, I like the custom art that whoever did, like the company that did these, did for them. Because it just looked cool. Some more barrels. Some guts of a Boko, Bokoblin. That's what the chest gives us. Sapphire. So some money to start out the game. That's always nice. There's a Goblin dude. Meat. And a chest. Okay, got a bow. Not too shabby. And with these, I believe there are rare items that you can get. You're not going to get all the items the first time you use them. So it's suggested, you know, do this a few times. Especially if you buy these cards. Like, it's super simple. Plenty of fish here, which is awesome. Let's see what we get in our chest. Soldier's bow with a higher durability. Nice, because one of my biggest struggles I have in game is durability. Here's a Goron. All right, so our wolf, you can see our, our, our wolf is just messing this dude up. Nice, wolf. So our Goron gave us some amber, oh wow. Some salt, ambers, expensive things. Let's see what we get in our chest. Ooh, a Traveler's Claymore with a nice big attack bonus. Nice two-handed weapon. Nice. Another Link. And to do these, I'm kind of just sliding them through between the, uh, the analog sticks. Tons of fish. So plenty of cooking materials. Ooh, the Boomerang. Nice. Another one? But yeah, I'm just kind of like sliding them in between the, the two analog sticks and it's working. Bunch of herbs, some food, and our chest. Soldier shield, nice. So doing this at the start of the game, when I do my playthrough, I'm going to start with a decent amount of like things to help get started, to help me be more successful. I gotta actually like turn the thing on first. <laughs> All right, there we go. Whoa, a bunch of metal boxes in a chest. Let's see what we get. A rusty broadsword. Nice. Yeah, I believe I paid a little under 10 bucks total for these. Uh, they have mini versions. They have larger versions. And it's up to you. If you're somebody who, you know, you don't want to use an amiibo card, you'd rather save up a nice spear and get the actual amiibos, go for it. I would suggest that too, just because amiibos are sweet. There's another one. Bunch of fruit and a chest. All about the chests. What are we getting? Ooh, trousers of twilight. Let's put on the trousers. Nice. We're just littering the ground with loot here. Is there a next one? More fish and a chest. Another boomerang. So the items. Oh, inventory is full. Items can re repeat, and that's okay. Is this one? Let's see what we get in here. Traveler's shield. Nice. And then our last one is the one I, want, I wanted to say this one for last. It is a Pona. It's the Link riding a Pona. And it should 
give us. Ah, we didn't get lucky this time. It has an, a chance of giving you Epona to start. So yeah, tons of loot to just start the game off with. A lot of it's already despawned, but I wanted you guys to be aware of the fact that if you're somebody who wants to play Breath of the Wild using all the specials from the Amiibos, you can. You don't have to spend a fortune. I got this from Wish.com. The quality overall is pretty solid. It came with a case, like a wallet-sized carrying case for them, so I can store them easily. They go in, clear little things. I like it for the cost 22 amiibos would probably for these ones would probably run you four to five hundred dollars for all of these amiibos if not more if you couldn't find them this was a little bit under 10 for me for the gameplay for getting out there it's totally worth it i have my amiibos i have collected and used i was looking for one can't find him right now uh but i i'm a huge fan of this i like this they have them for Mario Odyssey. They have them for Smash Bros. Check it out. I I like them. It helps me be able to get things in the game I normally would never see. So, if you like this, thank you so much for liking it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know. Are you pro Amiibo card? Are you not against? Are you not for Amiibo cards? How do you feel about it? And then let me know in the comments. But be sure to check out the live stream at twitch.tv slash gaming where I will be live streaming a playthrough of Breath of the Wild as we go through. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for checking this out. Hope you have an awesome day. See ya.